mom jeans, light wash, mom jeans. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and I'm going to take you thrifting. Unfortunately, I did not really film a real proper introduction. So this is it. We're going to go thrifting right now. This is one of my favorite vintage stores in town. It is really small, but I found some amazing vintage here in the past. But this is not the only store I'm going to. I'm actually taking you to three stores in this video. This store is one I kind of discovered by accident a while ago. It is really a treasure trove and their prices are pretty good. You definitely have to dig around a little bit, but I always find some gems here. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes The last store I went to used to be a hardware store. They kept a lot of the old interiors, which makes it look extra cool. This mid-century floor vase has been sitting there for such a long time. I really like it, but the sides do have some scratches to it, so that's why I never bought it. But for some reason, I always pick it up when I'm there, though. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I... This is another mid-century vase I found. There were made a ton in West Germany in the 60s and you can find them all over thrift stores and flea markets here. As you probably saw, my thrift with me was not that super long because the stores I went to were very small and the salespeople just always kept an eye on me for some reason, so I didn't film a ton. The first store I went to, I got one item. Usually I find more stuff there, but that's okay. You always have those days where you don't really find a lot or nothing. But I found one thing and it's this vintage 90s oversized chambray shirt with gold button detailing that is what actually sold me on the shirt i really really like it and i'm definitely in desperate need of some blouses or short sleeve tops because i really do not have a lot the second store i went to i didn't really film well no i didn't film at all there because i went there for the first time and i didn't know beforehand that beside making you wear a face mask. You also had to wear rubber gloves and there were two things. Number one, I can't really operate my phone with the rubber gloves. It's just not working so I couldn't really film. And number two was so hot that day. I found two items. I'm going to show you them right now. Oh, by the way, I think I forgot to mention that I paid €2.50 for that chambray shirt. And then I also got just a very regular red and white striped t-shirt and I paid only 50 cents for that one. Then I got something I'm very excited about. I always look for really cool, unique accessories, especially belts. And yes, they have quite a lot of belts at that store. So I definitely have to go back and really dig my way through it once it's either not that hot or I won't have to wear rubber gloves anymore, one of the two. But I found this really cool, probably 80s 
belt with this huge gold buckle, which reminds me of a leaf. It's really cool, really unique, and I only paid one euro for it. The third store is probably my personal honey hole in the city. Well, there are a few, but it is mine. I really love it so much. Usually I find a ton of stuff there. This time I found two items. Both of them are really cool. It's really a store where you really have to dig and look because 90% of the stuff they're selling is like mm, not so great, but they always tend to have some really cool vintage. So what I got was number one, this short sleeve button down. It's oversized. I think it's a men's because it does say size small, but it definitely is quite oversized. I thought at first it was maybe from the 80s, but on the tag, it doesn't have any instructions for dryers, which 80s shirts usually do have. So it might be older than that. Maybe it's from the 70s, but it is 100% cotton, which is amazing, which I love. No polyester, yes. Then I found something that every thrifter's heart desires. Mom jeans, light wash, mom jeans, yes. I've been looking for a pair that fits me for such a long time. As you know, they're not that easy to come by anymore because everybody wants them, everybody looking for them. I found them. So yeah, they are by a brand called Joker. They're a pair of men's jeans, so they are too long on me, but that's something I can very easily fix. I will probably do the same method that I used in, I think like two videos, maybe three videos back, which was a thrift flip where I shortened my pants but kept the original seam. So I'm gonna do that with those as well. I'm very excited. Then I went to the last store and I found one home decor item and it is this very probably mid-century vase that I really really like it's this olive green color and it has speckles which speckles I love speckled pottery it was 150 and it has this really cool what do you call it it's not a nozzle is it like where the water pours out that part I will probably put it in my kitchen with some flowers or some leaves some greens in there and it's really really cute then I have another shirt and this is just an oversized men's shirt which is gonna be very, I'm always like this, like I don't need to try on portion, I'm just gonna do it like this. Isn't that good? But it's this oversized striped men's shirt, which I think is probably maybe vintage, I'm not sure. The brand's called Impetus, Impetus, I have no idea. But I like the colors, it's this brown, black, orange striped shirt, and yeah, it's just basic and nice. Then I got a skirt. I've been looking for vintage skirts for quite some time or like general skirts that are like mid or I mean not midi or any length. They're not that easy to find, at least not the cute ones at thrift stores, I think, at least not here. This one is, I'm not sure how old it is, it's maybe like from the 70s, 80s, I don't know. But it looks like it was home sewn and it's really nice, it's pretty well made and it's really cute. I like that the floors are on the small side and yeah just really really nice and i hope that i'll get a lot of wear out of it during summer if you love thrifting and thrift with me make sure to subscribe and check out my last video where i shared my personal pro tips on how to find really good secondhand and vintage stores in germany it's full with lots of resources and tips so make sure to check that out and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video have a great day bye